What's up, punks? Jay here, and welcome to the next episode of the Academy Challenge. Right, uh, to start off, let's actually uh, spin the wheel, because surprisingly, this last week, we found everything before the stream ended. So, let's see what we can do with that. There we are. Alright folks, here we go. Our first turn of tonight is going to be... Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's Grookey. <laughs> Funny enough, I was talking about if we could hunt for Grookey today. Alright. Let me just... Fiddle around with a few things, and then we shall get started. Thing is, Grookey's actually one of my favorite. Grookey's my favorite out of the glass stars. I do have to wonder why did they make him single typed? Especially since they went back to dual types back in Gen 9. Sorry about that, it took a minute and a half to actually saw a few things up. Right. Okie dokie. Yep, that'll do. Yeah, that um, file was used back when we were looking for mining. Actually, let's move it a bit to the right and then we're good. Maybe down? Ugh, I don't like how it snaps like that. That'll do. Alright, we got a monkey to find. Oh, oh I almost forgot. <laughs> I keep forgetting about stream raiders, don't I? Let's try the bomb. Alright, to the tropical biome. And then while we're flying, I shall grab a cup of tea. Mm. If anything, this would be the best time to try and find a shiny before we actually make the sandwich. Now, obviously, as I've said before, with um, grass types in the tropical biome, it's going to be a bit awkward because, as well as our target, we could run into other things. Another um, Chikorita, Execute, Executor, Blossom, Oddish, Gloom, Vile Plume. There are a lot of grass types we could bump into, so we best be prepared. I do hope we bump into Trap Inch. Oh, honestly, the announcement of um, Pokemon ZA was a, just the news we here needed. The fact that they were leaving it this year, so it's going to be a gap year for Pokemon information. And the fact that it's giving a generation that kind of needs this. And yeah, it was a little bit disappointing that we didn't get Unova remakes, but I do have optimism that it'll have it'll happen in the future. Maybe they might be keeping it for the next big Nintendo console after the Switch. It does make me wonder what it's going to be though. Alright, if I remember correctly, this is the best spot to look for a Grookey with a grass type sandwich on. Mainly because I have already done it before in my own time. But of course that doesn't count for this challenge. That tea's nice. I think I'll stick to the pickles and um, cucumber strategy. 
because it seems like that's been working the most recently. Uh, lettuce. Let's start off with sour and bitter. Cucumber, cucumber, cucumber. Pickle. 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 And then a lot of lettuce. Ooh. Hang on, let me uh, shut that off. Just a couple more leaves. Uh, we'll, we'll leave the top because it looks like it's about to fall off if I do any more to it. There we are. Done. <clears throat> you know, thinking about it, we've actually gone through a lot of the grass stars straight away. It's weird. Go Karuki hunting. I wonder if this will be like Squirtle again, <laughs> where it shows up instantly. And with the luck I have proven today, I highly doubt that's the case. Uh, sorry, I'm just putting on my watch. My snazzy watch. Because I'm a snazzy person. Meh. Yeah, I've always enjoyed Grookey. Just seems like a really nice... If anything, it just feels like a Pokemon. I'm just hoping that explains it, but it feels like a Pokemon. The fact that you could see something like that in the wild, but yet it still has its own theme to it that works. I think gorillas are known to do that sort of thing in the wild, like beat things, and conveniently it makes a sound. Yeah, uh, whoops. Sorry for the quietness again. <laughs> I think it's just instinct at this point. But yeah. Um, yeah, I, I guess we could talk a lot about the direct, really. I, I'll admit, apart from the main presentation, it was kind of a letdown, considering the fact there wasn't much talked about. And I think personally, around the people I talked to, I think we kind of overhyped it. Like, there was some um, speculation that, heck, we'd get Colosseum and Colosseum XD Gale of Darkness on the Switch expansion pack. 
Don't get me wrong, that would have been amazing and would have been the best thing to come out of that. But I'll admit, it's a bit of a long shot. They haven't really talked much about that sort of thing in years now. I do think it'd be a good idea to have that sort of game again. Mainly, like a game that you can just use to practice battle strategies. Mm. This is really good tea. I know I'm stereotypically British by saying that, but I really am liking this tea. I do feel like I'm gonna accidentally bump into something I'm not looking at yet. Oh, no. No. Is that it? I, I think it is. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> cool. Neck. We can do something we haven't done in a while. We can try and see if we can find another one. Ooh, uh, I didn't realize that wasn't the quick ball. As Grookey strikes everything in sight with its stick, it has more and more fun and its rhythm becomes livelier. <laughs> Let me see if I've put that Grookey in the right spot. Nearly. We'll pick it up later and evolve it. It's always exciting when the shiny shows up straight away. It just feels like Grookey's just one of those Pokemon that I gel with. It's like, I know, like, I think I remember, like, back when Sword and Shield was coming out. There was, like, this big, um, thing where all the creators were discussing, like, like, they were discussing the stars as if it was a personality test. But... And they were saying um, stuff like, Sobble's the sort of person who would like to be quiet or on their own. And Scorbunny is like the lively person who always lights up the room. And then they said Grookey's the one that is just level-headed but also just enjoys making people happy. I always thought to myself that I was the Sobble of my friend groups. Like just... Oh, uh, that's an execute. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's do. <laughs> Got some golden eggy boys. Can't feel a lot of shinies today already, and it's only been twenty minutes. I have to go to the top of my list. Come on, where are the eggs? Ah, there are the eggs. I better get back to where Grookey was though, because um, that is what I'm looking for. Now let me see if I can adjust a few things. Let's make it so the executes are in front.
there. I will lift him up though so you can still see that's him. There. Again, we'll ride out the rest of the sandwich, so it's worth it. And heck, <laughs> might even find some more grass types. We don't need any more chicken readers though. But if it's the case where I do find one, I already know for a fact where it's going. I know it's a good thing that we could potentially get another shiny, but I'm trying not to. I'm just trying to stick to Grookey. I'm still trying to figure out why the shiny lock the Galar stars. The shiny lock in general, I just, it just spoils the fun. If people want to do it, why stop them? They're gonna like your game more if they can do what they want. And if some people want a soft reset for shiny stars or shiny legendaries, then. If anything, it just adds an extra challenge to capturing Pokemon. I can see why that's the case. Monkeys. Take <laughs> 10 minutes and we've got two shinies. So many monkeys. But yeah, as I said with Execute, the situation with that is um, they won't evolve into Alolan Executors. So that's why I've got to look for Alolan Executors specifically. So that would be the best case scenario at the moment, when it comes to that um, form. That is the only reason why that's the only um, regional form I will look for, because it came into the game at the same time the original form did. That, that, that's just why I'm not going to touch Geodude or Ninetales or Sandshrew. Neva Muck as well. I would say Weezing, but I don't know what's happening with Galarian Weezing. Because the only way you can get a Galarian Weezing is by evolving the Weezing in Galar. I don't know if that means I'd have to transport up the Weezing I'd find in um, Scarlet and Violet into Sword and Shield or something. Alright, let's have one snoop around the beach. See if I get a little bit more lucky. Is that why I randomly found a shiny execute because there was an execute outbreak? Oh, can't be, I was too far away. Excuse the dog in the background. Obviously, it's something I can't control. See a lot of giant palm trees. 
<sighs> there is no denying, I've got a lot of things to do this year. Hopefully they're for the better. I'm just hoping I don't have to find another source buck again. Yeah, let's head back to the Grookey Beach. Pardon me. Above all else, I don't know why it's so laggy. I've been here loads of times, hasn't been this laggy before. Sorry about that. Just um, trying to put my phone on vibrate while we're doing this, for obvious reasons. Hmm. Halfway done. No rush. Actually, completely no rush. I should stop looking at source books, shouldn't I? Yeah, still don't know what to do about the lens and lens reflection onto my glasses. Don't know why I was having a hard time with my uh, head there. Hmm. Nope, none of them. Shame we never got to see a. Well, we did get to see a Rillaboom in the anime, but it was only briefly by Leon in the final one of the final battles. That's a bit better. Moving my glasses a bit. Hmm. 
Oh, that one looked shiny earlier. Over there. If there was an area where I could look for other grass types as well as Garuki at the same time, that'd be good. I've already got Execute. Don't need Deerling. And there's the Chikoritas. I'm not sure. Eh, uh, the whoops. None of those guys, not you. Hopefully if we find one, I can give one to one of our uh, potential viewers if they stop by. Yeah. Do be the monkey. Nine minutes to go. I, I'm not really worried if I don't find another one. It's just a case of everyone else. Is uh, someone in the chat might get it? If someone shows up in the chat. <laughs> All the emotes showing off. Dang it. I keep bumping into people. <laughs> so, um, when it comes to what happened with the direct, um, before I got interrupted. Yeah. <sighs> These Grookies are incredibly camouflaged. As I was saying, with the impact of the direct, it's made me happy for the fact that, yeah, 
this game is going to have a good amount of time being developed well to a substantial point where I can say I think it could be okay and I think that's a shiny blossom. Cool. Alright then. That works for me. And maybe I should keep talking about the direct because every time I do, I find a shiny. <laughs> I've already filled out my quota. Where's the Ultra Balls? Sorry about this, I'm just trying to solve things around. And that means I don't have to worry about Oddish. Cool. I always find Blossoms. It's weird. All three grass types are nice and sold in. No mark as usual. Into the boxes. Ooh, stream is ready to go. But I don't think anyone put any units in, so. Ugh. A random Chikorita. I might as well save at this point, right? <laughs> this has been a really good sandwich, I'll admit that. Gotten rid of a lot of grass types, and arguably, I think we might have gone every grass type we could get around the tropical biome. Of course, I could be wrong, in which I usually am wrong, so maybe. We'll see what happens. Ah, uh, yes, Whimsicott. Yeah, Cottony and Whimsicott. I forgot about them too. Just having a quick look. Ah, uh, this is where we found the Chikorita. me why but I thought that patch of flowers was another exec execute yeah I think that's a big point <laughs> I might have caught all the grass types in the tropical area so I don't really need to snoop around here anymore Two minutes to go. Let's see if we can get one more Grookey. 
Yeah, good haul already, and it's only been 40 minutes. None of them. Now my question is, where was this look when I was playing Mario Party earlier? <laughs> yep, one unit. I'm on bomb myself again. I don't, I don't get how people do it. Maybe I will if things improve, but... I just don't know how people grab attention. Maybe I should try going on Instagram with it. When Simon Jens, I'll add a, a promo to Instagram. See if that does anything. Probably won't, but... I just clicked about something. Oh, I've had a really big click about something. One minute to go. <laughs> not the you know not the traditional one minute as in I'll be right there one minute. Let me see what I could do about something. Yeah, work with me here. Let's see what that does. Alright, sandwich is up. So, in one sandwich, we got free Pokemon. That's probably the best sandwich we've had in a while. Okay. Let's do Stream Raiders first, and then we'll spin the wheel again. Oh, we've also got to evolve everyone, obviously. Let a battle begin. And it ain't gonna last long. Told you. Uh, 
Let's play safe and use this guy. Okay. Let's evolve Grookey and Execute. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Execute needs a leaf stone. Alright, let's start with Grookey first. Oh, he's a, he's a cute monkey boy. I don't like his hair folded up like that, I'll admit that. Ooh. Whoa. There we go. And now the Fwacky is a Rello Boom. He's a big monkey. Drum beating? Don't mind if I do. Between you and me, I kind of prefer drum beating over... Eh, what's the word? Wood hammer. I don't know why it took me forever to figure that out, because it was just on my screen. Now let's evolve Executor. There's a bunch of eggies. Is Executor even that good? I don't know. Another job well done. Alright. Save. Now it's time to spin the wheel again. Wrong one, this one. But before that, we need to get rid of Execute and Oddish. Oh, I forgot to remove Grookey as well. A good amount gone there. All right. Our next hunt will be Oh, okay. Torchic. Okay, Torchic, Torchic. Kentucky Fried Chicken itself. Funny, I was talking about Torchic the other day. I think it's one of the awkward ones that spawn in a cave. I need to keep that one as it is. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 don't need to touch that one. I might need to make a new one. Media file two. Ah, right. Okay. It was the snow effect I added um, ages ago for the Christmas special. Not to worry.
time for some Kentucky Fried Chicken. I think this will be the first time I've ever shiny hunted for Blaziken. Or well, specifically Torchic, but you get my point. Alright. I think I know the cave spawns, but I'm gonna have to use those that tactic I used ages ago where um I had to sit in a corner of the cave to get them to spawn. You know, it got boring a bit quickly. Maybe before I start the next sandwich, I'll um, do what I said I was going to do on Instagram. The cave should be nearby here. I think this is it. Yep, that's it. Torchics. I might need to get rid of this Matang. Galiente, you're up. Child's play. Interesting to think about what a Metagross would do with that, though. Nice job, Caliente. All right, then. Let me see what I can do about this, then. Something I'm not.
Sorry to stick in a bit. There. Yeah, it looks like I have to do it out here with them. It's gonna be this thing in it where it's just gonna make me go halfway down the mountain just to set up a picnic table. No, I don't wanna connect. Ugh. Jesus Christ. There we go. I'm gonna use the echo. Oh, I'm still excited about the Gen 6 getting um some limelight. Alright. Oh, what did I need for fire types again? I think red bell peppers. Spicy and sweet. Sorry, I had a bit of an itch on my um neck. Oh, this is big. This sandwich will be a cakewalk. the rest ow I'm staying away from that segment of the sandwich to make sure I don't move that one that's about to fall off and as I speak slowly I hope that will somehow fix everything and it somehow appears to have worked Whew. These guys are awesome. All right, let the next hunt begin. I think the next case scenario would be to use the synchro machine. Uh, let's use frenzy. Come here, chicken boy. I still find that funny. <laughs> you 
Yeah, um, I'm not sure. This is a bit concerning. Oh, now they're showing up. It's gonna be a thing I have to gotta keep driving in and out of the cave. Okay, there we go. Starting to guess some of them. Well, there are a lot more torches here than I thought there was gonna be. I'm looking for some special Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, sugar, I forgot. Squirrel bunnies and chimchars are everywhere. That's going to be a problem when I'm going in and out of this cave. Yeah, I don't think this will be that bad of a problem. I think if anything it's just going to be a bit more tedious. Look, I just went out a little bit and more showed up. Last thing I need is for that to happen. Uh, for people who didn't know, my um, my monitor was being told to shut off. Well, I'm here. Might as well check the score, bunnies. Yeah, none of them. They feel like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight. We do have a bit of a strategy here. Obviously I'm going to have to go in and out of this cave. To change the spawns and all that. And every time I do that I can check for score bunny and chimcha. Yeah. That, that seems like a decent idea. So technically I'm looking for three stars now. But the primary target is Torchic, so I'll just leave Torchic on its own there. Is that one anything? Nope. There's lots of birds. Yeah, we're definitely finding this thing. I'm sorry for all you Torchic fans, but I'll say, for me personally, Torchic does feel like my least favorite Hoenn starter. It's nothing against Blaziken in any way possible. It's fun to use, but to me, it really does feel like that Sceptile and Swampert particularly outshine it in a lot of ways. Unique design, strength. I thought that score bunny was shiny then because I could only see the orange parts of its ears. Frankly, the more 
what I kind of see in um in Torchic is more of the KFC jokes, cause like it's a fire chick, and how can you not make the KFC jokes? <laughs> And also, I have grown some um, fondness of it, mainly due to the one that Jaden used in her um, Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke video. And in some, ev in whatever miracle that you somehow see this, Jaden, hi, hope you're good. I do, I really do like your content. <laughs> If one of those tortures was shiny, I would have definitely nicknamed it Jaden. <laughs> it just feels like one of those Pokemon you assign Jaden to. I don't know why. And I'm not sure if anyone else can see it if they watch this on YouTube, but I kind of feel more confident. Like, I know you, you can't just say you feel confident, but like, I feel confident. Like, I don't really feel as intimidated to stream anymore. If anything, I feel a little bit excited to do it. And I know that, like, for the people on YouTube, I'll say now, no one is in the chat right now. And I know that's a bad thing, and like, I'll say, I'll admit it's a bit upsetting knowing that I'm still struggling on Twitch. But when it comes to just me just talking like this on my own, I used to feel very intimidated by it. But for some reason I don't feel as bad about it today. It's weird. I do want to say that yeah, there are some days I really just feel like I'm just struggling on Twitch, but I am trying my best, and I'm hoping everyone sees that. And every time I see that I've gotten an extra subscriber, I smile. I have the same feeling when I got a follow, yeah, but the fact that someone's liked something I've done arguably months ago and is still coming back, it gives me the spark to keep going. And frankly, I think it was my a good decision for me to up, start uploading my Twitch content onto YouTube. So now I can store all of my content and give me an opportunity to edit into more more entertaining situations and I'm I'll be the first one to say I'm still quite new to editing that is why I can say I have more faith in Crowey my um, editor than myself but we're in this as a group so I can't just l let them have all the work I need to do some of it myself and Crowy, if you're watching this, thank you. Now, uh, let's... Oh, whoa, 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 hang on, hang on. Ah, I thought that torch at the back there was shiny. There's a lots of chicken. Chicken's been on my mind today. I did have some chicken for lunch. It's running a bit slower than what I did with Grookey, but I can't say I wasn't expecting that. It's not like things aren't going smooth. Does this method not work anymore? Oh, it works now because I'm on this side. Whoop, whoop. That was weird. Hello. You okay? Aww. 
These are cute little chickens, aren't they? I can't help but think about a uh, chicken run when I look at all these chickens. <sighs> I swear my mind is playing tricks on me with these chickens. One looks darker over there. Just checking. Yeah, I, I don't think Instagram worked. I did the same thing again, didn't I? The more torches show up, the better. I think I'll stick to my old method because it is taking a bit just to get them to spawn like that. Spin around the score bunny. Whoa, that was a weird um, lighting problem there, wasn't it? These aren't turkeys, they're chickens. Looking, looking, looking... Nope, nope, no, no. I've never seen any voice changing mouth lozenges. Uh, no. Just checking on the score bunnies. The camera option does help with them um, looking at more zoomed out Pokemon. <laughs> That was small. That's kind of why I was using it in here for a bit. Oof. Time be speeding up a bit. Shame I can't just use a sandwich in here. You know, I might have an idea. Okay, now that I'm in look the location where it's gonna make all the torches spawn. I can just do this to thin out the troops. And then when there's enough to spawn, bing, bang, bong, shiny. If anything, I might make it so when I switch back onto the player, more will spawn. See, more spawning.
come over here, come on. That's a really tiny torchic. You are mine, chicken boy. <laughs> Two units. Dispersed? It's not midnight. Come on, show me the turkeys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> Am I miscounting this or something? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 of them. Probably miscounted again or something. I think I've made KFC very happy. <laughs> they have a lot of chicken. Doesn't look like it. I need to be careful doing this. If any of these are shiny, it'll despawn if I go back to the human. Any more torchics that would like to show themselves? Nine minutes. Okay, the lighting in this game really does play tricks with you.
Show me some more, please. Stop showing me the lighter torchic thingies. The feathers, that's it. I'd be silly. Let's get rid of all these torture, hang on. Can't ride, not ride, don't. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's up in here? <sighs> Peaceful. Was Minator happy at last? Random reference. Not many few people will understand it. Just checking all the door check before I move. Look, what the? What the heck happened there? Let's go over here again to get the most spawns. Come on, you can do better than that. Give me some more chicken. Not this again. It's, it's just, I swear to you. Every time I look in the distance, they look shiny. For them, or what we are looking for. Turkey. Actually, let's just have a look at the outbreaks. <sighs> Seriously, this is getting annoying now. Some of these torches really do look shiny from a distance. Oops. 
Let's see what's going on. Minior, Inke, Poplio. That's it. It's underwhelming to say the least. Three minutes, oh boy. Right, let's get rid of these torture quick. We need to actually start batting down the hatches. I think, if anything, it reverses the colours of its feathers. Like, I know I'll, when I find it, I will know it. I think it's just the algorithm punishing me for getting three shinies in one sandwich. And now I'm surrounded by torture. The chicken... Mrs. Tweedy! The chickens are revolting! Finally, something we agree on. I thought so for a minute. But that do not be the case. Another score, Bunny. Oh. Am I calling that one Ginger? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, scrap. Alright then. While we're booting this up again, I will grab Stream Raiders again. That guy looks cool. We did it! Looks like our mysterious compatriot helped there, so fresh hard 76. Oh, he's live. On Lego. Fortnite. 
Eh, not my cup of tea, but if it works for him, it works for him. Spicy sweet. And I forgot to activate Stream Raiders again. token chest. Let's try that again then, eh? Yeah, that's all of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I sure I miscounted, but yeah, 15 then. Not that it matters, it only counts if. It only matters if I find 16. Looking at Chimchar makes me remember what happened to um, Ash's Chimchar in the anime. Man, I hated Paul. He was such a dick. Thinking that intense pressure would activate Blaze. And it's just the whole thing about proving to Paul that love is just as strong as fear. If anything, it was fucking disgraceful. And animal cruelty of it, uh, uh, yeah, animal cruelty of anything. It'd be animal cruelty. Again, it doesn't hurt to look at all the chimchars and score bunnies that show up here. Yeah. Might be a little bit lucky on the side of things.
Ne. That chimchar in the middle. No, it's just the lighting again. It looks like they start to spawn when you're in the beginning tunnel of the... Well, where I'm standing. We will be victorious today. I have no idea what we're going to do with Cyndaquil, by the way. From what I've heard, Cyndaquil's in a really awkward spot to do this. If anything, it might have to be the one exception to catching things in this DLC. And just go into Legends Arceus to get it. It just depends how bad it turns out. Sorry about that. I think that's it there. Uh, that middle one. Haha, <laughs> cool. It's marked as well, nice! Sorry about all the clickety clackety. Poopy panties. Right. We can't mess around here. Dust ball. Oh, thank God. All right, Torch X Court. Okay, the main t thing we could do now, because I don't want to do any of that again, would be to go and see if maybe we can get Score Buddy and uh, Chimchar off the list. First off, I want to have a look at this mark. The snowy <laughs> torchic, the snow frolicker. <laughs> That's cute. Right. But there's one thing I want to check, actually. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. I'm going to go into the cave where you can get Cyndaquil. Actually, we'll walk, we'll drive. Just in case we bump into an old score bunny or chimchar. But yeah, we're gonna head into the cave where Cyndaquil spawns so we can have an idea about what we can do when that's time for that to... 
it's time to hunt that. And for a cab fire and counter sandwich, there aren't many chimchar and score bunnies. Okay, so I did a bit of research um, a few month, weeks ago about how to do Cyndaquil Hunt. And this was the main reason why I was concerned because the area it's in is in such an awkward location. To a point where I am concerned about when to do it. Even when an outbreak is active on it, it's hard. So if anything, this is kind of a practice run. See, it's in the quill. And then look how awkward this cave system is. But for now, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this uh, mini or. All right, Brooklyn, take him out. That's the purple form. Shell smash, that's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah, get on with it. Nice work, Brooklyn. Right. Now, if I remember correctly, you need to go on to this platform and activate a picnic. Obviously, it will reset all the spawns outside, which is what causes this to have a problem. And now... Nothing showing up. Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. Again, I think I might have to ask the exception of this. See, all the spawns are happening out here. None of them are in here. So yeah, we're gonna have to think about it. It would appear that they only spawn around this area here. There we go.
But yeah. We'll last as long as the sandwich does. And then we'll evolve Torchic and any other Pokemon we find. Bada bing, bada boom. We've done a good stream today. I do feel accomplished after that. Trying to think what I'll score up on these colors again. I know Chimcha goes to like a more purplish red. But I can't remember what color score bunny goes. I think it's like a yellowish tint to its the red tips of its ears. That looked a little bit like it. Oh, funny. Yeah, it's it's funny to think about, really. Earlier on, I was looking for a monkey. Now I'm looking for another. Just having a look, making sure I'm concentrating, that's all. <laughs> I thought that Scorpion he was then. Ooh, that one in the back looked close. Nope. I think that Shimcha looked shiny. <laughs> oh, God damn it. It really does feel like my own head is playing tricks with me with this. Either that or I'm going colorblind.
No, none of them. Da 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 Just double checking that one in the back. Yeah, no. I might as well check that score bunny. I might as well check all the score bunnies. It's weird to think that Easter Sunday's not in April this year. It's weird to think about. Like, you know, like, usually people assign it to April, sun uh, Easter Sunday. My phone stopped turning on. Monkey. There's lots of monkeys. Just checking the chim char over there. Nope. Da 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 I think I fully up used up all my luck or something. Considering today I found four shinies. Eight minutes to go. Didn't feel like eight minutes. Thinking, looking, looking. Whatever the outcome of this um, sandwich is, I'm, I'm just happy with the stream overall. We've got a good amount of um, shinies done, things we weren't even planned for, things we were. We've got a good amount of the wheel done today.
I wonder why Chimchar and Score Bunny show up in the well frozen area of this area. Cause I I don't know. Is it a reference to those um that species of monkey that um lives in colder climates? Like even has like little um like natural based warm baths or something up in the mountains. I'm trying to remember specifically what it's all about, but I know there's some kind of monkey that goes that usually hang ground natural hot springs in some country. I'm not sure if they're making a reference to that by adding um, chimchar around here, but um, score bunny is still lost to me on that one. Yeah, I'm honestly not like I, I've never liked Score Bunny even when it was introduced. Peaceful. That's a lot of monkeys. It's a monkey. Lots of lots of monkeys. The outbreaks are different. Interesting. Come on, be nice to me. A minute to go. Let's speed things up a little bit. That stream rate is ready. We'll do that um, when we finish off.
17 seconds. Come on. Yep, sandwich is done. Oh well. Let's have a look at the the score bunnies and chimchars that did spawn just in case I missed any. Yeah, no I didn't. Alright, a job well done. A few good shinies. And we even got a marked shiny torchic as well. Maybe we'll evolve it here. Let's save. Whoops. Maybe I need to do six. Oh, stop doing that. Right. It's a turkey. <laughs> Double kick. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to be using this thing. <laughs> wow. Blaziken looks really good here. Not, not the not the shiny. The shiny's questionable. Just darker colors. It really does look Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's got a good nature as well. Jolly's good for a blaze again. All right. And there we go. That'll be it for today. All right. Before we end off, I will put up stream readers. Let's do this. Wow. I got a spell tome and archer scrolls. So that'll be the end for today's episode. Um, obviously, we we got a lot done today. Like we got a lot of shinies. We got Rillaboom, Executor, Blossom, and now Blaziken. Uh, frankly, I'm not expecting this kind of look again <laughs> when it comes to this sort of thing. But what are you gonna do? So yeah, um, I hope everyone enjoyed this um, stream. I hope everyone enjoyed the stream today. And for you lot on YouTube, and I hope you you all enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing. We're, we're trying extra hard this year. And we're going to make sure that we're going to give off as much amazing content as we can. But for now, that's all the time we've got for today. And I'll see you all next time. See ya. <laughs>